G'day folks, this afternoon I'm fishing somewhere I've never been before. This is King's Billabong near Mildura. Now I'm up here this afternoon in the Mallee. We're staying at Redcliffs for a few nights. It's a family holiday, but I'm going to try and get away and wet a line a couple of times if I can. And this is one such time. This is King's Billabong, and you can see a bit of a, a bit of a building over there. That's what they call Syke Pumps, and this is what they call Syke Bend on the Murray River. That's the Murray River right there. This is King's Billabong, and it's got camping sites and stuff all the way around it. I've got no idea what I'm going to catch. Even if I catch a carp, I'll be happy, but anything will do. Let's throw a couple of lines in and see what we can turn up. Rod number one is a Patnoster rig with two Janjuk worms, and I'm going to just put that out in the middle here. See how deep it is. How deep is it? Ooh, deeper than I thought. I've got a rig rod number two up. It's not rigged yet, so I'll put that in now while I rig up my other rod. Right, oh, rod number two is rigged exactly the same as rod number one. I've got a Pat Noster rig, a really small hook, and a couple of worms. Now, while I was rigging that up, I did see a faint nibble. There it goes. Faint nibble on this rod. That actually looked a bit like a shrimp bite. Just like when a shrimp bite your worms, it's always a real fast little jab, 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 jab. And that's what that was. I've just had a look at the Victorian Fisheries Authority fish stocking database and they have stocked a lot of golden perch, silver perch and Murray cod into this waterway, into King's Billabong. So I've got about an hour and 45 minutes of twilight light left to see if I can catch one of them. Current time is half past four and I've probably got enough light to fish until about 20 past six. So a bit under two hours to see if I can catch one of those stocked fish. Come on, that was a bite. Had a couple of bites on this other rod here. The one on the left, it looked a bit more fishy. I'm getting a bite here. Something's just nibbling. Hang on. Getting a nibble? Just getting a nibble right now while I'm talking to you. It's been very quiet though. Yeah. Got a couple of bites on that rod, but whatever it is, it just won't hook up. Won't take a decent grab. No. <laughs> What's the box's name? Buddy. <laughs> it sounds like a koala. I reckon he's. <laughs> <laughs> he's up and buddy. Pa, you want to hear him at night? Snoring. <laughs> he doesn't have to have his, his bloody eyes closed to snore. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's like that. Yeah. Well, I better not say that. I might catch a fish in a minute and I might be able to edit that scene out. Don't worry, <laughs> I might have heard you, but I've got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Dan, I missed that. That was a good bite. That was a really good bite. How did I miss that? Yeah, here we go. Got to get him this time. Got him. It's got to be a carp. Oh, it might not be a carp. I've had a few bites and I've finally hooked up. Pretty fair old bow wave. I reckon it's going to be a carpio, and it is a carpio, but that's okay. <laughs> Got the anti reverse working overtime here. Using a very light trout rod and five pound line. I was having a, a chat to a lovely older gentleman here a minute ago. He was a nice man. Born here, born in Wentworth. He grew up here, 1943 he was born, so he's in nearly 80. Gonna watch my other rod here, oh I haven't got much chance, look at this. It's just strip and drag off this reel. The drag itself is probably a little bit tight. Is this gonna take long? <laughs> oh, you've gotta be joking, I can't stop that. I didn't realise it was so big when I first hooked it. The older gentleman, as I was saying, he said to me, what sort of fish are in here? And I said, well, I just read the fisheries website. It says they've stocked it with silver perch, golden perch and Murray cod. And I would assume there's going to be carp in here as well. Pretty safe bet. Come on, lifting, winding, lifting, winding, watching other rod, big 
big. These uh, smart, what do you call them, action camera makers, whether it's GoPro or DJI, they need to have an app so you can just look at your watch and see whether you're recording or not because I always worry that I'm not actually recording because I've made that mistake so many times. I'm going to have a real quick look now. She's a goer. It's a bit of a, uh, oh, this other one's getting a bite. It's a bit of a sinking feeling when you get some really cool action on video. You don't need to realise you weren't actually filming. This is a very heavy fish that I'm about to pull out of. Oh, that's a big carp. I have, I might have my tape measure, my neck lanyard tape measure that came into my mail time there last year. I might have that in my bag, I think, the hope. Because I would like a measurementation of this fish. I'm just going to watch my other rod because it had a bite a minute ago. I mean, if it's something like this, the potential is there for it to make my rod disappear quite quickly. <laughs> oh, there's a nibble on the other rod. I think it's a shrimp. If I can get this carp out of here, I'm going to make it disappear. Gee, that's a big carp. It's got to be nudging 70 centimetres. It's not just big, it's big and fat and healthy and... I'm using a little Shimano ballistics spinning rod here, one to two kilograms I think it is. Getting down into position. The other rod's, oh, the other rod's getting a bite. Got to be careful here, we'll end up with a double header. A Mildura Melly Mud Marlin. <laughs> King's Billabong strain. Come on, come on. In the net, in the net, in the net. Oh, it's going to go straight in, look. It's going to be easy. Straight in, straight in, straight in. Don't snap the rod now, sticking it like that. And got it. Oh, I've got to get a measurement. That is a monster. He's massive. Wow. Once I work it out and get it out of the net, that is. Right, what have we got? I reckon at least 68 centimetres. 74. 74 centimetres. Oh, 73. 73 centimetres. Wow. That is... That is 13 pound. 13 pound of very fat carp. 73 centimetres, 13 pound. That is enormous. Now I've got to re-rig because my sinker got tangled in the net, but look at the size of the hook I caught that fish on. It's a uh, similar size to my thumbnail. It is tiny, tiny little hook, tiny little sinker, hoping for a yellow belly or a silver perch. Five pound line on a one to two kilogram graphite spinning rod. 13 pound, 73 centimetres. Sorry it's a bit dirty in the photo, but there was a fair bit of commotion going on. I'm on the board! Right, I've got a new rig, same hook and sinker, but a new rig, two fresh Janjuk worms. I'm just going to put that straight back out where it was when I caught that monster mud marlin. It's quarter past six. Come on, fish. It's a yellow belly o'clock. Here we go. Come on, come on. Got him. I've got a little fish. Is it a, is it a yellow? It is a... It's a red fin. <laughs> right. So they put, uh, they put yellow belly, silver perch and Murray cod in here and I come and catch two fish, none of them. Bro was hooked a bit deep. 
I think he's uh, going to end up kicking around the surface, and that whistling kite that I can hear in a tree just down there will probably pick him up. Mate, I think your days are numbered, but good luck anyway. It's getting dark, it's starting to rain, Loretta's on her way to pick me up, and she's not driving a train. She's driving a car. <laughs> Seriously, folks, King's Billabong. I've had a wonderful time here. We're here for the next three days, so I'm hoping I can come back and have another crack over the weekend. But tomorrow, we're heading off to the Hatter National Park to see if we can find some birds to photograph, and we're all very, very excited. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.